we're streaming and we're live people pop out chat put it over here you're being too squirmy bro you gotta set told down <laughs> people are already hi puppy <laughs> hey from michigan what's up this guy's a little squirmy today but if you haven't seen him this is Bowie. Look at him. Look at this little tail. He doesn't even look real, does he? <gasps> don't you bite me. Don't you bite me. Don't, don't, don't you do it. Everybody's saying hi, Bowie. You guys got to see him up close. Look at that face. <laughs> He's getting antsy. He's getting antsy. Watch him from Disneyland. What? How fun is that? Red Artisan Wolf. What's up? He looks like a gremlin. He does, doesn't he? He is a little squeaker, too. Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? What's up, everyone? He is, he is. Yeah, you guys, hit that thumbs up button before you come in here and, and, and make yourself known. I would appreciate it. Anyways, all right, so we'll let some people come in before I start. What is that horrible noise? <laughs> uh, Erica's in there cooking some food. It's a pepper grinder with a light on it. We got it from Uline. She, she got two pepper grinders, or a pepper and a salt grinder. Push the button, does it for you, and there's a light on it, just in case the lights go out and you're cooking. Well, thank you, senior helpers. From Dublin, Erica. What's up? I was like, hey. I would love to go to the home country. I am, apparently I'm double Irish. But then I think I got some Polak in me, so I don't know. Um, that sound terrible. Got my coasters today. Awesome. Hi, Clara. Hey, you don't, you don't want to be messing around down there. Especially with these rolling wheels. It's like he just wants to be right here, right now. Hey, Bowie. There's nothing under there for that guy. Look at this guy. Just look at him. Look at that face. My daughter is on their honeymoon. Well, congratulations to your daughter and her husband. I'm gonna get this guy a little chew toy so he doesn't chew on anything over here. Here, look, look what I found. Look at this. Oh my goodness, look at that. Hold on a second, y'all. I'm gonna go put him in the front room. I don't want him over here. shorts all right all right so what we're gonna do um, I got a couple different coasters the clear ones hexagon and circle we're gonna do three different styles we're gonna do pretty much a covered probably just a covered then we're gonna do transparent so it'll be all transparent. There'll be no, uh, what do you call it? No opaque colors on here. So it'll be all the way transparent. And then we're going to do something different. I thought, why not try to uh, 
uh, spray paint it. But the only thing, I didn't even think about this. If we spray paint it, that means you have to take both of these off. Why? Because you, if you're spray painting the back. Oh, yeah. But what we could do is do them and then after you could spray paint the back. So you would want to leave some of it a negative space so you could see the back. Oh shit, that's uh, sorry, I really just said that. <laughs> the, the red, the wolf guy, the beard. Dreadlocks? Yeah, dreadlocks. That's what I thought. But What's I up, dude? Hey, Petra. No. Heather, Misty, Studio, Tiffany, Larry, Diane, Doris. Sheena, what's up? Yeah, Clara, please don't put me in timeout. Hey, if they can say the S word on Saturday Night Live, I can say it on my own channel. So, what, uh, see I thought I could spray paint the back and then, you know, you'd be able to see. These look These super logos, small. So yeah, so yeah, we're gonna do three different types. So with that said, cue that stripper music. Oh, baby. Oh. <laughs> oh, you guys are gonna hear him. Oh, goodness. Oh, my. Oh, you can put hot coffee cups on the resin side what? of the coasters what? without damaging it. Question mark. Um, Sheena, the, I know that it says on here that you can put up to 120 degrees. I'm not sure what a coffee cup... Um, how hot that is, but you, um, you wouldn't want to put, I mean, I, I wouldn't use both sides as a coaster. I would just, um, just use the resin side. The other side would be painted. Um, the only thing is with that, yeah, I guess you could, I guess you could, it would be a two-step. It'd be a, it'd be a more expensive uh, coaster if you did sell these but what you could do pour it let it set then peel the back off um, spray paint it maybe put maybe put a design or something on it and then take take this get yourself some uh, what do you call it um, shelf paper the clear shelf paper stick it to that cut that out so that you would you would be covering your previous resin side pour just pour clear over it so that this would be you would cover up your spray paint or your design or whatever on the back let it set peel that off so that you would have basically a two-sided coaster um, it'd be different on both sides but you would be able to see what you did on this side God, you could even draw on it, then spray paint it. How cool would that be? Super phone only just notified me. Um, Jen, I don't know what, what, the, what the deal is with that. And what's up, Jen? Mike Reed, what's up? All right, so let's, uh, is he over here? Oh, no. What is he barking at? Here, And we took, we took both the dogs to, oh, <laughs> he's so cute. 
I know. He wants to come over here. I don't like him to be over here where I can't watch him because I don't want him to pick something up and eat it. There's too many dangerous things. All right. She's got him. I got him. I got him. You're just gonna have to pour with the sling on. No. Um. What was I gonna say? All right, by Caterhill, Jeff got one night temperature head of back. Oh, okay. We'll feel better. Sorry about that. Scarlet brought over uh, Joplin yesterday. Oh my gosh, those little guys played so hard. And she was whooping him half the time. She's fast. Thank you, Clara. Mm -hmm. Then we thought we lost her. That's fine. Okay, it's to carry tile coasters to show. I was wondering if anybody would be interested in buying them. What, uh... Well, you should probably make it first, Studio 831. Make it first, take pictures of it, um, and, and we don't mind you posting it in ATD's Poor People. We just don't want it to turn into, you know, a garage sale thing. So, um, Joplin is a thug. She is, and she was, she was going hardcore. Well, thank you, Sherry. All right, let's get to some mixing. I need some gloves. And if you guys ever wonder what kind of gloves we use, um, these are great. I like these. Um, latex free. They don't make your hands all chalky or, um, if you wear them for a while, they, they do get a little sweaty, but I like these. They don't tear very easily. Um, they're good gloves. We have them in our uh, description below. I'm going to put this over here. And today we're going to be using... Oh yeah, you guys, you guys haven't seen this, have you? That is my very first King Baby bracelet. I'm super stoked about having that. I'm gonna take that off because I do not want to get resin on it. So we're gonna be using stone coat, art coat. It's a one-to-one -one mixture. The best in the business, I tell you. The best. And I don't just say that just because they're awesome, but I do say that because they're awesome and um, some of the best customer service you can get in the industry. Cujo, Cujo agrees. <laughs> uh, like I said, this is a one-to-one. -one. Um, this has at least an hour and a half of working time. At least. We've, we've worked with it for probably two hours. And that is no lie. And it was still uh, usable in the cup. Like, we had to dump it out on coasters to, to, to not waste it. Um, UV protectant in there, um, up to 500 degrees. You could set stuff on it, which is amazing. Um, so yeah, that would most likely protect this on the other side. I wonder if that would. I wonder if it would, eh, I'm not even gonna try that. You've gotta resin over it, resin over the whole thing. All right, so let's pour some resin here. What do we got here? We got nine coasters. I'm not gonna take too much, but I got my skull mold over there, so if we do have some leftovers, we can make that. All right, what do we got here? Sorry I haven't been reading. Don't, yeah, I'm not gonna dip it in the resin. I'm gonna make eight ounces, which is most likely way too much for coasters, but I wanna make sure I have enough. And like I said, I got my skull mold. I can fill them up. 
fill this guy up, make some cool molds, some keychains. All right, and I'm gonna use our new stir stick. All right, so if you guys got our stir sticks, we do sell these on our website. Um, and you've left the paper on, we do it all the time. We, we've left the plastic on, some of our old ones. It doesn't really matter. Um, but if you want to take it off and it's, it's, you find it difficult if you don't have fingernails or you just can't get an edge, just take another stir stick or a hard edge and you just scrape it or break this. <laughs> that, that's one of our old sticks, so we won't. But there you go. That comes right off of there just like that. Comes right off. All right. This stir stick is awesome because you've got the nice little handle that matches your hand. Well, there's Amanda. Hello. What's up? You're a little quiet. Huh? You're a little quiet. Hi. All right. And that is another reason why we made these uh, this thick. We made them a lot thicker, a little bit bigger, so that that would not happen again, the breaking one. <laughs> Currently driving all over Lamar County looking for a Carmar varnish. Who is? Um, Lindsay oh Emerson? God. I went to high school with her. Ah. Okay. She did some alcoholic toasters. She wanted a resin. I was like, you better find a sealer. Um, Sharon, um, me and Erica were just talking about that a couple days ago. Um, trying to figure out how we can put um, some supplies up there in the UK for you guys so that, you know, it's not so expensive. Um, Send up some um, some just resin, some color obsession, some stone coat, some resin from stone coat, um, our sticks, our coasters, stuff like that. Um, we just got to kind of figure out the numbers and how we can make that possible, and kind of just have a store for just the UK because I know that it's expensive to get that stuff up there. Um, so we just need to find. A uh, solution to that, so you guys don't have to pay so much. I'm just gonna do this sling. What? <clears throat> yeah, Sharon, we we would love to be able to get you guys some supplies over there. Do you guys have, does anybody in the UK make any pigments or powders or resin or anything? They have Eli Kim. Oh, you guys have Eli Kim. All right. All right, I think this is good. So what we'll do first is we will do, let's do, master cast. Um, Kim Adams says, Jeff, have you ever done resin on a photo? Um, I've, I've put, uh, I put resin on an airbrush painting. Is that the same? <laughs> I know. I don't think it is. Um, no, I, I don't think I have. Have we ever tried to put resin on a photo? I think what you would have to do 
I have done that. I have. I've printed out some stuff, like for coasters. For like, I did some Cowboys coasters. I did some Alabama coasters um, for some family members. Um, and all you have to do is just make sure that it is that's you know stuck to whatever you're doing. Glue it. Let it set for, I would say, a day or at least you know a couple hours. And uh, that way you know that it's not going to come up. Um, and float on you because that would not be good. I'm just trying to take some of this off here so that these will be level. All right. So what I'm going to do, we're going to, all we're going to do is take off one of these uh, pieces of protecting paper here because you want, you, you're going to want to save the uh, other side so that there's no cleanup involved. You don't have to sand these things down when, uh, when, you, when they're done. You just peel this off and it's nice and clean. So let's do this. And we got a, we got a uh, hexagon over here too. These are always fun. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to make a negative space so you can still see through your coaster. So that way if you decide to make a mobile or something to hang in the window, you know, put little chain links and put them in your window and the light will shine through and it'll be beautiful. beautiful. All right, so let's do this. Let's move these back a little bit. We're going to stick. We're going to stick with the plan, guys. Sticking with the plan. Negative space. And what I'm going to use um, for this negative space is Resin Arts Bahama Mama. It's a beautiful color. Oh, this is just the powder. This is the stuff that you put alcohol in, right? Yeah. All right. Make a little well, bit of a base with it. Yeah. What you do with this, this isn't a shimmer. This is just a straight powder, like a, a basic uh, flat, I guess, if you will. Super pretty. It's um, flats should be transparent. And then what you do is you put some in a cup, put alcohol in it first, mix it up, make it into almost a paste peanut butter kind of maybe um, and then you put that into your resin and then that makes it nice and colorful there so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna use this pretty periwinkle by resin art as well that is phenomenal it's actually a purple it looks blue on here and I'm gonna use some uh, just resin bronze powder and I'll probably just do a little bit of white. I'll do a white stripe, a white line through it and so I can get some cell action here. So let's do that. Let's put the powder in first. That's what we like to do. Always put your powder in first and then the, and then the resin on top of it. And we have our little sticks. These are perfect for these little cups. They don't, not, they don't tip your cup over when you have them in there. So I'm gonna put, we're not gonna use a lot, so I mean, that's all I'm putting on there. You can see that. You guys see that? That's not too much. And I'm just gonna put, you don't, you don't use a lot because remember, this is gonna be a negative space. You're just gonna put a line and then swipe. Is that all covered up? It sure is. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way, y'all. Sorry about that. I didn't know you guys were on the line of fire here. Let me scoot over a little bit. All right. What is that? She just made me some food, y'all. And you are in that camera right there. <laughs> you all right? You good? Um, I'm good for right now because then I just want some more. Put it all right, now let's put some of this. Um, remember, you got to put this color in first, then some alcohol. I apologize for not reading. I wish she would come over here and read. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit more I, I don't know how much to put because I don't know how much this is gonna make. 
So, so let me get some alcohol. And this is just 91% alcohol. I just put a little bit in there. I don't know how much. I've done this before, but I can't remember how much I put in there. And you can always put more powder in there if you need to. That is super thin, so let's put a teeny bit of powder in there. That was probably way too much. I oh, know, that's perfect. All right. Sup, y'all. There you go. Heather loves the coasters. Sharon, it's not letting right. me scroll too high. I'm sorry. Can you repost? All right, so I'm going to put this in another cup so we don't have a ton of glue being made. That would probably be way too much to put in. No and this is the thing. When this dries, because there's alcohol in it, you can add alcohol a little bit to reenact it, to re and to redo it. So you could save these if you want to keep these colors. If you make like a fun color that you like, make a little extra so you can keep them. How cool is that? Hey y'all. Bowie's on the move. He's got a giraffe. I see you. All right. So we're just going to put a little bit in there. Um, we are going to have the rounds on the site. We just had to narrow down final cost. You guys. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, murdered. Yes, Petra, I will. Um, Look at that. Send you your tracking number in the uh, in the messages on Facebook since email doesn't seem to work well for you and I for some reason. All right. And remember, always put your paints up. <laughs> you do not want to get this in your. So, Kim, the reason why we add the alcohol to the powder pigments is because it helps the particles mix into the resin more easily if it's not a, just a powder. So if you put it, just a little bit of alcohol in it, that'll smooth out the powder before you put it in um, resin. Um, we don't have any plans right now this second to come to the UK, but um, we can make some. We would sure love to. <laughs> I just need to have a place to art. Oh, you have three pumps? They're the best. I'm pretty sure Bowie's somewhere chewing on a wire. He hear. was just underneath me. Come here, Bowie. He's just chilling. He's so cute. He's so calm. Like, he'll just be chill, and then he'll go from zero to 100 puppy style. Like, if you hold him for too long, he's like, no! No! Right now. Alcohol. Happening. And the bronze just resonates. Nope. So I didn't know that, Linda Gray. Cujo. But you don't need to, because look at that. That is beautiful right there. All right, let's make some white. We only need a little bit of white. Do you We're think that gonna... you might get some more cells by adding the resin? I only put just a little bit. This is the stone coat white that I'm putting in here. Just a little bit. Oh, that sounds so cute, buddy. I know Cash goes this ham. I've seen it. I've seen it. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just put a thin layer of resin on this so that Bowie. we get a... Uh, it's like having a toddler. Nice little thin coat. So Libby, yeah, adding um, alcohol can give you cells. Um, I would recommend the highest alcohol percentage you can get. Like the alcohol that we have right now is 99% courtesy gin. Thank you very much. Before that, all we could find is 70 something percent. See, you don't even need a lot. Like you could dip your finger in your resin and spread it on these coasters and it's perfect amount. Um, 
because you're going to be adding resin to this as well. So you don't want to put too much. Um, How are you guys going to cope in Oz without Bowie? Well, both of my little men's will be at their center. He is between your feet. Yeah, he's just chilling. Um, it's tough leaving the babes behind, but they always are left in good hands. And if, um, thank you, Jen. Um, if Tressa can't take care of them, Judy has graciously volunteered her services. Why 99 as opposed to 91? Heather, it's, it just comes down to the higher percentage of alcohol, the faster it'll evaporate, and the longer it takes to evaporate, the bigger chance you get of um, divots and pits and things like that. Hi, Sherry. <coughs> Where do you get those? Krista, are you talking about the clear coasters? Because if that's the case, all right, so what I'm gonna do on our website, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do three different styles. I'm gonna do just the line. I'm gonna do um, just the bottom and swipe, and then I'm gonna do um, I'll probably do just the middle, just kind of like a what is that called? Just where you put a color, then another color, a puddle, a puddle pour, but mm -hmm. yeah. Just a little bit and then hit it with some air and see it go out like that. So I'm just going to do. It does make a difference in alcohol inks, Heather. The higher concentration of alcohol, the higher percentage um, is less heat you have to put on your alcohol ink piece to get the colors to set after you manipulate them around a little bit. Because um, it just evaporates really fast, so you don't have to put as much heat on it. But if you want a longer, I guess, working time, then see you, you could guys use like a it's, lower it's like you don't even need. I didn't like this is too much for coasters. If you want to make a lot of coasters, then that's what you do, and that's what's a good thing about this this resin is it is uh, at least an hour and a half working time. So you got plenty of time. Just set a timer just so you don't get lost and forget and then all your stuff starts setting up. Cheryl, the resin side can take up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, Mother Nature, sorry about that. Shoot me an email and I will send you replacements. What happened? She ordered the sticks with the star cutouts and got them without the star cutouts. Oh no. All right. And see, you only just want to do just a line of that copper because that copper will take over like crazy. We can do a mold too, you guys. He has plenty of clear left over. So we'll do a mold one as well. Even though this is not a casting resin. So when you pour a thick anything that isn't with a casting resin, it's best to thin out your resin because the thicker your resin, um, the harder it is for the air bubbles in it to release. So the thinner the resin is, if you like put it in a hot water bath, the easier it is for um, the air bubbles to work their way out. So um, I have one of these molds. It's square. It is a deep mold. Voila. Right. I'm excited we'll this about too. this. I'm excited. All right. So let's get a little, I'm gonna use the heat gun because I don't want to set anything on fire. Karen, we do not add foam or anything under our coasters. What we use are these guys. If it's a solid coaster, where am I? These little felt pads. Um, you can find them in the cabinet section of a hardware store. And for the clear ones, we use these guys. They're just little rubber dots. And that'll protect um, any surfaces, even though I don't think this... All right, so we're going to do a little swipe. Would do any actions. damage. Hi, 
Hi, Nancy. Well, if you're interested in the process of resin, we're here to help you. Um, these are from 3M Electronics, the clear ones. And this side says 300 piece rubber feet. Made in China. Um, Cheryl, the raw poster, I'm not sure how much heat it can take. I know somewhere it said 160, I think. But um, if it's got this resin over it, then it can withstand 500 degrees Fahrenheit. It would stand to reason that that would be the case, Heather, that it would evaporate quicker. But I haven't tried it, so I can't tell you firsthand. Melissa, if you have any questions, just reach out to us. We'll be happy to help. Bye, Sharon. Those are fun. Yeah, that's super fun. This, this, the uh, Bahama Mama kind of disappeared in there. I just wanted just a teeny bit of heat. Where's the, where's the fire at? Give me some fire. Oh my God. It's a little it easier to. I think I moved it over here when we were quicker. lighting things. Um, I said I did, but. Oh my God, that's so lovely. All right, so that's basically all, what you do. You just, oh, look at that, y'all fun is that and I'm just, gonna, I, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave these um, leave these be hey Amanda Cara Ziegler sent us an email about shipping she lives in Nova Scotia she didn't put it in the I lost her is that you yeah All right. So let's do, we're gonna do some. All right. Love those, those are great. Simple, clean, nice. We got some negative space in there so they'll look really nice when they're dry and you take that backing off. All right. Let's lift this up a little bit. All right, now let's do, we're gonna do just the transparent. We're gonna make everything transparent, which means it's gonna be see-through all the way. There's not gonna be any. I did these yesterday. Opaque colors. Oh yeah, we can resin over that. Mm -hmm. Might need to make some more resin. Can you zoom in closer? I'm sure I can make that happen. Can you fit, stay within this frame? So what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna use this because this is, this is a different color. This is a transparent, so that'll be perfect on there. I'm gonna mix some of this uh, pink velvet. No, what is that? It's pink velvet. Oh, for some reason it looked like it was three E's in there. No idea why. And this is gonna be cool because these colors, they're gonna mix together. They're going to uh, make a purple. Just below frame, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna just put two drops in there. 
see how that looks. Oh, wow. I have tested hot cups on the coasters and they work really well. What the problem I've seen mainly with any brand of resin is when you have like a can or something like that, that creates a suction sometimes. And sometimes you'll like pick your drink up and it'll pick up the coaster with it and drop. Cool thing about these is if it does drop, they're not gonna shatter. Two drops of this. What is that color? Turquoise seas. Turquoise seas. Which is a little greener than that. So that'll be fun. And then what, what I like to do with this is it makes it really light, like on your first batch. Right, Clara? Um, Always laying on just Pour a color. Pour, pour your color. And then you can add a little bit more. So it's a little bit darker and it'll give it a nice, you know, nice little different. Uh, That's so fun, Debbie. Darkness to it. Or not darkness. What would it be? Deep. Deep. A little more deeper color. So we got those three, which should make an awesome, awesome uh, purple in there. That is, I didn't know it was that color. That color was like that. We're just gonna put a little bit of resin. Like I said, these do not need a lot because you're adding resin on top of this. That hexagon one over there looks like tie-dye. Mm -hmm. That's the one I just went, just blew on it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Heather, the tents are so incredible. I wish she would ship them quicker. I often mm. am left waiting for those orders. She's busy. She has a grown up job too. She's actually a lawyer. And she's getting ready for our tour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who would have thought that, you guys? Who would have thought? We just said the word tour, Australia tour. How awesome is that? Never in my wildest dreams. We need to like name it. Like someone left the back door open and ATD's back. Who left the back door open? Damn it. Tour. All right. So I think I want to do like each one a color, but then I want to, uh, we'll do that. We'll do. Stick to the plan. Yeah. Yeah, this is so light. So I'm going to add a little bit more to that. What kind of paper do you use to cover your table? This is just white butcher paper, I think. It comes on a roll, and we've had it. We haven't even changed the rolls out. Um, Judy got us this. Mm -hmm. Come to mm, Nancy, I'm going to try to butcher that name. Mm -mm, can't do it. Did we not find any fire? Mm -mm. How, we have three of them here. Y'all are going to be beat when you get back. You, Dude, I know. That's why we're not going to be doing anything for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Alan, we get to meet you in Brisbane. Whoop, whoop. See, I put a little more in there to kind of darken that up. That's, yeah, and, and, that's, and that's one thing, like, when you, if you think about it, you're putting this on more clear resin, so it's definitely going to uh, dilute it. So the more you put, the more uh, tints you put in there, obviously the deeper it'll, it, it'll, the color will be, a little bit darker. Um, We're back ordered on the, I'm Angie, I'm sorry, the Just Resin Gold. I think I may have a powder, but we tried to order the paste twice and it's been out. Koo G Mud Lu is how you say it. I'm pretty sure I still messed that up. Bye, Linda. 
Hi, Izzy. Haven't seen you in a while. Philip, welcome back. Coochie Mudlu. Coochie Mudlu? Apparently, Coochie Mudlu Island is where we need to go. Okay. Hi, Trudy. Thanks for stopping in. Oh, Coochie Mudlow. That's so cute, Jen. Cujo um, didn't growl at Bowie today, so I call that a win. We are well, Izzy. Thank you for asking. Bowie is amazing. He's sitting on B's feet right now. Can I put any white in those? Uh, I just want to clear. I just want to see how it. Man, it's really clear. Yeah. So then some glitter? No. <clears throat> They're all going to be clear. That's the whole. Remember, stick to your plan, babe. Stick to the plan. My plan always involves glitter. Yeah. That's fun. I like that. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of this blue in here and turn this purple. Cheryl, if it's just resin paste, then just give it a hot water bath. Sherry, my favorite, um, this tealy color that Jeff's working on right here, that's one of my favorites to use for oceans. It's called Turquoise Seas. light mm -hmm. but that's what I wanted to see I wanted to see how that reacts and how it does it so if people just want to make them light nice and light mm -hmm. but it definitely dilutes it that clear what I probably could have done is not put a clear on there and put that color on there it's still really transparent Next. That's not transparent. No, I just thought about doing a zig and then. Alright, so what do I want to do with this? Do we want to, since we know that's not really a good thing to put just tints on there, or we can just make it kind of tie dye ish, right? Like that other one? Yeah, kind of. Let's see here. We've done resin flames. Um, Jeff has a couple of resin flame videos out. I have tried and failed. I'm gonna do this again. Immersing. Did you like all the colors, red? 
Um, so tonight's date night is um, a little different. One of Jeff's friends is doing, um, I guess, an exhibit. And we it's are going right here to in our building. check them out. It starts at 7, and we didn't think we'd be back by 8. We actually didn't know about it till like, the last minute. Um, 007 isn't really a glitter, but it's, um, super light. It's actually a metal flake. So, yeah. I'm not surprised that it got in your beard. Um, the... Something... The new um, color that. obsession How colors. How fun is that? We have some, well, we had some and sold them instantly. Um, I've tried the Mystic Purple, I think it's called, and it's gorgeous. I have more on order just waiting for that order to come in. Color obsession is not a spray bottle, it's um, for the tints, it's in a pipette bottle. Hi, Rusty. It's great to finally meet you, by the way. That would be awesome as an ocean. That last one you did. Sounds awesome, Lisa. Right, Kim? Isn't that beautiful? Bye, Izzy. I wish Paul would come in here. I want to talk to him. About that. Tool time, idea. Paul? Yeah. Um, CJ, if you wanted to incorporate a dried leaf, I would put maybe some quick coat down because it sets up within like, well, if you put it out like this, then it would take probably an hour and I would um, let it get like tacky set, put your leaf where you want it, and then wait for it to finish setting up a little bit and fill the rest of the way. Ramona, we are early. It was a last second decision because we didn't know we were supposed to go to um, an art exhibit. One of Jeff's friends messaged him about an hour and a half ago. I'm sorry, Happy. How fun is that? Thank you, Izzy. Paul was a lot of fun. I like that. We had a great time, Rusty. Those are fun, y'all. Hold it up to this one. Super simple. It's gonna look great wow. when that backing comes off of it. Yeah. Philip West says you're knocking them coasters out. Good job, what are you looking for? Um, tweezers. tweezers. Here's some. Here. I know the depth in those is great. Did you show that one up close? Not yet. Y'all don't even know about that one. We, we can put that in here. People are asking about um, mold coasters, and we have this. Oh, handy. yeah. I wish I had that fire. Cara, I could absolutely do that. Shoot me an email. Give me a feel for like what colors you have or what colors you need or if you just want like my favorites or our favorites. Libby, I don't know why people are getting notifications sometimes and other times not. I have no idea what the problem is. Look how fun that is. That's just kind of fun and Fun in the sun. We man. can, Sherry. Anytime, Jen. Thanks, Roxy. Rusty, a clock is going to be great on these, the large rounds that we have. K 
Can you do a smush on the gorgeous puddle you have going on? Yeah, we can. That's fun, look at that. Like, that's like a, mm -hmm. that almost looks airbrushed. Thanks, Petra. Maybe hold that in the camera so they can see how to, you probably already showed them though. This is how I take my, the paper off of our coasters and our stir sticks. You just get that little edge and just pull. Don't forget to leave one side on. Leave one side on so you don't have to sand the backs of these because then that will not be pretty. It doesn't matter which side either. They're both the same. Sue, we're going to bring some with us to the classes at the end of the month if you um, are coming to one of the classes. Teresa says, thanks to Amanda Bangs, my order was filled in a timely manner. She says, oh yeah. I know, Ramona, I don't know what the deal is. I sent an email out to YouTube, but we'll see if they answer. How was it, Philip? Um, Linda, I have like 10 inch rounds that I can post as available today. I just wanted to wait initially till I had all of the rounds. Um, but I can go ahead and post all right. those. Um, Kay, I'll have the next class we have coming up. I think we're going to do end of May. So I'll go ahead and get that up as well. I was wondering how the larger rounds hold up with the heat gun and heat during curing. Well, um, I did one last night with Scarlett. If you check yesterday's video, you can see that. And we did this one when we first got them in and um, it didn't even warp almost even a little bit. It's just perfect. Shelly in Florida. I will add that to you, Rachel. And while we're here, I want to give a really big shout out to Clara. She saved our butts in Vegas. She did amazing. She wouldn't let me work sometimes because um, she knew how busy we were and talking to people and she was like, gimme, 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 which means give her the money, give her the credit card reader and go play. <laughs> While we were at the uh, uh, Bronson's place. So that was awesome. And JJ, really, he was, he was, he was, my, he was my, uh, my bro pal. My hey Clara dude, says ATD roadie. You're gonna uh, you're gonna be fine. Like he calmed me down. Like hung out with me. Super awesome. I appreciate everybody that was there. Um, we had a lot of fam there that helped us out. Yeah. Therese was there. Kim was there. All right. So what do we want to do on these? Diane was there. Scarlett was there. Her yeah, wife was Scarlett there. Scarlett did awesome. <laughs> Jen said bromance. It was. It was definitely a bromance. Rusty was there. Finally got to meet so many of you guys in person, which was so awesome for us. I don't think we could have gotten through that speech had so much of our fam not been in the audience. Um, Shuri, as far as I know, all classes are a go. I have flight information for every stop that was advertised, so... I don't, I don't think any of them have been taken off. Altered. Mm -hmm. But what about the one in Melbourne? It's not in Melbourne. It's like an hour outside. Right. 
And Diane was there. Finally got to meet her as well. Linda was there. Lisa. Lisa. Lisa showed up in full Linda. force. She did. That's awesome, Sue. Cherie's going to be in Albury. That's the one that is on the list instead of Melbourne. I'm glad you found it inspiring. I was super nervous. But I think it turned out well. Look at that. Hold it up to the thing I am. One, two. We did learn um, a lot at the summit. It was a lot of fun. And we realized we need to step our advertising game up a little bit. Oh, it's three hours from Melbourne. Sorry. Nancy got the details for Brisbane. This is actually a bronze. It is bronze powder mm -hmm. by copper. It's copper, I think, yeah. It's, no, it's bronze. Oh, oh, cool. It's bronze powder by... Uh, Look at that. So simple, so clean. Just resin. Like, how awesome is that? That's like a nice little classy negative space uh, coaster there. Um... Teresa loves the roundy swipe action. I want to try this. I want to try to do... I'm going to go mixed media girl here on you. Okay. Rusty says, if they do next year, go if you can. Let us know, Philip. Thanks, Happy. I mean, we were super nervous. Everybody there had like PowerPoints and like a plan. And graphs and photos. Sound effects, video. <laughs> I had a picture of me and a cotton candy mustache. That was a fun night though. You know what's funny? There's a, there's a picture of me painting and it, this, this picture is probably 20 years old. And on the shirt, there's a cuss word on it and they changed it. It was so funny. I was like, God. I thought about it and then I looked at it while it was up and he had fixed it. And I was like, all right, he's genius. Chris is a madman. Yeah. Stone Coat crew did amazing. I mean, just imagine that was their first time doing that. Yeah, sure. It, it does fine. It'll withstand 500 Fahrenheit, which I think is 260 Celsius. You don't need no stinking PowerPoints. Basically, that's what we decided ultimately. We decided we wanted to be like we are on the channel. And Jeff even took that to an extra, extra by inviting the fam up on stage to do a shot. That so, was funny. So, that happened. Bye, Heather. Thanks for stopping in. Oh, thanks, Clara. Let me know. Um, I want to see how your channel kicks off. Built it into here. I think it I think it was more authentic the way that we decided to do it. If we did it any other way, it really wouldn't have been true to I just I, I think that it, it would have been like we were reading it like, hi, uh, uh, we are artists that like I'm horrible at reading for one. And being on cue, I I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. Why do you even bother doing a tree ring? Because I just wanted to see what it looked like and it just kind of did what I thought it would do. It just kind of, um, Dissolve, everything just kind of dissolved together. Jolene, um, if you order from Stone Coat's website, they have a $10 off code, YALL, all capitals, Y-A-L-L, -L, on a, I think a $100 order. 
Why can you make these coasters? It makes me look forward to more of my mystery box and resin to arrive. Makes me want to make hot plates now. Would that be fun? Thanks, Debbie. Does it cost a lot to get into the summit? Um, Roxy, are you talking about like as a speaker or exhibitor or as like just a ticket and to listen to everything? Y'all are so sweet. Thank you. Hi, Shelly Phil. What up? Thank you, Jen. You can still see through that. I would have yeah. thought that the copper would have well, covered it. It's because of the... Uh, the clear? Yeah, well, no, the clear, and I put some of those in there. All right, I think we're done with the coasters. I take it to listen. I That's think it fun. was... The hotel was $60 a night. Struggle bus? Okay, come in. And then... Um, I think the ticket for the whole week was like a hundred for the two days. I'm not sure. All right, so what do we want to do? We want to do a coaster mold. Let's do that. I was going to say your hair looks good. Let's do that. Let's do a smush. Should we do a smush with the coaster? Yeah, but when you're left over in that clear one. Oh, I know. I'm just going to do a regular. I'm going to use one of these coasters. Thank you, Jen. Hey, Scarlett. I was showing people our these that we did yesterday. Oh my god, these are so fun. I think Stone Coat is going to release um, video on YouTube of the conference. Hi, Lisa. How do you finish the backs? So once these set, you take the backing off, you know, like we peeled the front side off, and that like means no cleanup really after. You don't have to worry about drips or any of that. It just peels right off. And then we put little clear bumpers on them. Look how fun that is. And I have those linked down in the description box below. Doing, 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 doing. In the Amazon link. When you guys had the accident with spray paint, was that just straight up spray paint? We've had a few accidents with spray paint, so you have to be more specific. <laughs> what do you want to do with this? Put it in it. So you want to do clear and all this and just kind of mm -hmm. swirl it? What is that? Oh. So we're just gonna, we're just putting this, uh, sorry, you guys can't see that. I can move this. All right, and now we're just gonna put. Thanks, Clara. Boop, a uh, head ups. Here's some, these are transparent. Y'all, Amanda's daughter um, was in dance competition, and she did amazing. All right. What do you?
you think? Just tilt it and leave it, or just leave it? Put some. I was gonna say blow it. Oh wow! I just want to leave it. Yeah. One more touching. <laughs> wow. Like you can't touch that. You can't move that. How long will the mold take to harden? So he poured it about a fourth inch thick, and it should be set up enough to take out by tomorrow morning. It is currently 6.10 p.m. here. Bye, happy, hope you feel better. Any suggestions on working it with sphere, sphere shaped resin mold? We have one. We have a sphere shaped resin mold. It looks like this. And we'll do one for the channel. Basically, just make sure that sucker is sealed up. I know, her girls are adorable. Dry resin drips. Um, Bill, you can use them as texture on a resin piece. I've seen people do that before. Love that mold, Mr. Jeff. Says adorable Scarlet. That mold should be awesome. I'm interested to see if any of the colors sink because right now it looks like some are under others. And there's even cells in there. That's the cool thing about using paints that have different weights. So ultimately having a tint, a paste, a powder, and a base tint is going to create a whole bunch of dimension because they'll either sink or not sink and like lay out in different depths in the clear resin. But we weighed in at two pounds. Um, Carol, I think Jen has made her own blending solution. It needs the art or counter for heat protection. Um, so you can, uh, both the countertop and the art coat resin from Stone Coat are 500 degrees Fahrenheit resistant. Did I even use this color? You did on those, the first oh, three. Yeah. It was when Jeff was using the paint can opener to spread the gold spray paint. Is it when we put the, we sprayed, um, spray paint into a styrofoam cup or a plastic cup and it ate through the bottom of it. It may have been a different time. We've had so many blenders. This is true. Thanks for stopping in, Anita. Sorry you guys can't see what he's doing. He's filling skulls yeah, off camera. Yeah, sorry, I'm just filling camera. these. I don't think about it. I just, I'm just trying to use all this excess resin. Yep, he's charting right on cue for a five pound adult weight. All right. I think these are good. I think they're good and nicely, nice and classy, I, I, I say. Classy, I tell you. I say, I say. Which logo did you start with? The splash uh, or the, the new one? The stripper. Okay. So y'all, thanks for tuning in and seeing what we're up to. I'm not going to do my full spiel because I want to eat something and if I do the whole deal then Kujo will be like, I know what this means. So, um, I'm just going to point, do the things. You guys, these are awesome. I love them. Thanks for coming. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for taking the time to do all that you do for us. We really appreciate it all. Um, we're actually about to join a paint club, no, craft club maybe, makerspace, oh, where yeah. they have wheels and clay and kilns and all that stuff. So maybe I'll be able to do a pottery video for you guys. Yes. 
I would hold Moo up, but he's over there. Thanks for hanging out with us, y'all. So you're going to have to say all the things so yep. Moo doesn't freak out. Um, bye, y'all. She's going to say bye, y'all. Um, so, these guys, check all this stuff out. Um, we've got merchandise on our website. We've got hoodies and shirts and sticks and stickers. We got some spray paint cap packages for different... Uh, different size caps for your spray paint. We have adapters for the Rust-Oleum cans. Oh, yeah. um, we, uh, we have ATD's Poor People group um, on Facebook. All you have to do is answer the question. Simple, you're in. If you don't answer it, no go. Um, you can check us out on Snapchat, kind of behind the scenes. A um, little bit different behind the scenes. Sometimes it's more of when we go out, skin. do little things. Yeah, um, that's a 21 and up, please. <laughs> uh, we have Instagram, <clears throat> Artist Till Death Studios. Check us out. Our website, www.artisttilldeath.com. Two T's, two L's. Mm -hmm. um, thanks for showing up. We appreciate it. And remember to... Be kind to one another. Be, be, be sweet because you never know what somebody else is going through. It's easier to smile than it is to frown. So with that said, um, I'm going to go ahead and say bye. Doink. <laughs>